Welcome back to ETBU Extra. Thank you for clicking in this afternoon on the ETBU Sportsnet. Just got through talking with the head football coach of ETBU, Joshua Ergel. Now we're bringing in one of the players on this year's squad. He's a name we've heard a lot in ETBU football, Michael Garcia. Matter of fact, he's been around here so much time, we think he just works here. Almost does. Michael, first of all, you're from Pottsboro, Texas. I know exactly where that is. It's in Grayson County up near Sherman. Used to pastor a church near uh, Tioga, Texas up there at one time, Mount yes, Carmel sir. Baptist Church. How did you get from Pottsboro to East Texas Baptist University to play football? Uh, well, after high school, uh, my grades weren't really that well. And uh, I ended up being a walk-on at Tyler Junior College. Uh, and I did that for a year and a half. And it really wasn't for me there. You know, nothing against the coaches or uh, the players I played with. And uh, at the time, I didn't know what Division Three football was. I'd never heard of it. We'd only heard of D1, Division One, Division Two schools. And uh, one of the coaches there uh, was Coach Mahon. And he knew the offensive line coach here at the time was Coach Bryant. And Coach Bryant had been at TJC. Anyways, long story short, they got together. I had no film, no nothing, just hey, here's a kid, hopefully it works out for you. And so I came here, and uh, my freshman year, I've been a starter ever since. So you're the walk-on, walk-on, so to speak. Yes, sir. Found out about interest to come to play NCAA Division Three football. Now, you're also a graduate of East Texas Baptist University. You graduated. I saw you walk across the stage. Yes, sir. How are you still playing? Uh, it's all about the eligibility. I, I actually ended up graduating last fall, and uh, I didn't have to go, to go to school in the spring. And luckily, I had one semester left because you had the 10 semester rule. And so, by me taking off last spring, uh, I was at the, at the the nine semester. And so, this fall was my 10th semester. And now I've been in grad school since June, and it's been it's been busy. Been busy. Matter of yes, fact, uh, I saw you at the Marshall High School football game Friday night. What do you do for Marshall ISD in your grad work? Uh, I really just do. When I go to Marshall, I just it's all about student coaching, observing, really just. Uh, learning the high school environment and uh friday nights are real fun it's kind of weird for me to just sit back and watch and not it's we're not playing so it's business with michael garcia one of the offensive linemen on the each tiger football team jason you got a question for michael yeah i always like to, to to hear guys opinions on other players but you have the the pleasure of going against big desmond oliver and david james every day and and i always like to say which one if you if you had to if you had to meet one in a dark alley who would it be desmond oliver or david james uh i'm uh no offense to uh desmond oliver but it'd be him because david james is is one crazy dude <laughs> he has a motor he has the attitude he has everything you could ever want out of a de defensive end. And so, I mean, I'd have to pick Desmond Oliver. So, do you feel like going against guys like that every day in practice has, has helped you guys succeed to the level? And we're going to talk about that in just a second. But do those oh, guys? Yeah, I think we have some of the best D tackles in the ASC. And, uh, you know, when we do go against the varsity D tackles, uh, I think it really helps us uh, prepare for any. It doesn't matter who we play. Gotcha. Last year, you guys finished uh, with 1,600 yards rushing, 3.4 yards per rush. And obviously, the running backs get all the credit for that at a lot yes, of places. But uh, around here, we know where it's done. Already this season, 1,525 yards rushing with three games to play, 5.2 yards per carry. Um, talk a little bit about the pride that you guys as an offensive line, you're a veteran group, a tough group that's been together a lot. Talk about what those kind of numbers mean to you guys. Uh, it's weird. I mean, that's the first time I heard any numbers, to be honest with you. I mean, every week, you know, I feel like Kendall or it was a different running back at one point every week in 100 yards. And uh, it's weird hearing all those big numbers. And we really we really don't pride ourselves in numbers or 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 achievements we get weekly. We really just pride ourselves on protecting the quarterback. And really, honestly, it's all about getting the win. doesn't matter how you get it. All right. Well, one thing I do know you pride yourself in, and you can't hide this because it's on film. Um, a lot of times when we're breaking those long touchdowns, whether it be a rush or a pass, I like to look behind the play and see the linemen celebrating. Uh, between Charles and Cheddar, you guys uh, have quite you, – you're quite the bit for, excel, for celebrations. Talk a little bit about the, that. Um, honestly, I, I really well, – one thing I always notice on, like, a big run, you know, it, it's, 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 you don't really know when it's going to happen, but then you just see the running backs, you know, kind of just pop out of nowhere. And I'm looking, I'm looking, and he's running, he's running. I'm like, please score, because I don't feel like running 80 <laughs> yards. And so I'm, I kind of, kind of, you better score, you better, ah, you didn't score. And I mean, I got to run that 80 yards. But it's, it's a, it's, it's fun. 
I love it. It's, I feel like it's like a show. We put on a show and we go out there and we're, it's points after points after points. And I mean, yes, we do have our lulls, but I mean, it's a show out there and I love watching it. We're awesome. with Michael Garcia here on E2 Extra, one of the offensive linemen on this year's squad. Final question, Michael. I noticed looking over some information about you, you had an opportunity in the game to play against someone you played with in high school. How was that playing against a former teammate? Now you're playing college football and you look across there and hey, we played together in high school. How was that experience? Oh, it was it was it was really fun. You know, the first year, uh, his name's Nate Jansen, and he, he played Mike linebacker for Louisiana College, and and we didn't just we grew up. I mean, first year Pee Wee, middle school, junior varsity, and then varsity. I mean, and after high school, you know, he went to LC. I went to CJC, and. and we all, and we always used to talk about, like, what if I went to LC or what if we end up playing each other again? And, uh, you know, I came here to ETBU, and LC just happened to be our rival. And so, you know, most kids go in there, you know, er, like, pumped up, and I look across the line, and it's Nate Jansen, and we just laugh because it really it was it was a dream come true because he was, he's a great he was a great football player, and now he's a he, uh, strength conditioning coach and uh, inside linebacker coach there. So, uh yeah, it was, uh, it was an experience of a lot of time I'll never forget. Visiting with Michael Garcia, who is a member of the E.T. Tiger football student athlete at East Texas Baptist University. Because of eligibility, he's still a grad student. Michael, thank you for visiting with us today. Yes, sir. Thank you, guys. All right. Michael Garcia has been our guest. Coming up next on E.T. Extra, we're going to talk with Landon Price, who's a member of the E.T. cross-country team. Back with more E.T. Extra on the E.T. Sportsnet in just a moment.